Hello guys, uh, Create Tutorials here with a new uh, tutorial for you guys. Um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you like a uh, like a zoom out transition uh, with some motion tile on. Um, it's basically like it zooms out and views a lot of screens and stuff, and then it like scrolls up and then goes back and yeah it looks really good uh, I actually got some requests about this tutorial but I didn't know at the time how to do this effect but I figured it out it wasn't that hard so um yeah guys so that's what I this is what I'm going to be showing you yeah looks pretty good so yeah, just drag in your two clips into a new comp. <coughs> uh, let me see here. Okay, I'll just just use this bot. Okay. Uh, so what you want to do is just first of all just add a adjustment layer as usual and then add in the effects um, the search offset uh, distort offset and then motion tidal uh, motion tidal sty stylize motion tidal yeah <coughs> okay guys so what you want to do is just go back like uh if you go to middle of your clip like where where this clip ends and this start go about one one and a half sec before that I'm just gonna go half um and then click a keyframe uh to the offset shift center to um and then the motion title uh width and height like these three keyframes and click U on your keyboard okay guys so now you wanna go forward like a second a second is good uh, and you wanna go to the motion tile you wanna change it to 25 so you get like many screens and stuff like that pretty sexy stuff um, yeah and you just wanna put a keyframe for the shift center to you not do not change any settings just click a keyframe so now what we have is a zoom out effect okay so now you wanna go forward like a second also a little bit less and then change the shift center to you wanna drag this 360 you wanna drag that up if you want it to scroll up, if you want it to scroll down, just drag it down. But for the sake of tutorial, I'm just gonna drag it up. So drag it up to about 2050, maybe. Like just drag it up, uh, and then drag like a half second more, like that. Uh, yeah. Then you wanna go to the motion width and motion height and put it to 100 again so it's normal and then change this back to like 1 1000 1000 like, like this so it's perfect on the screen like that and now if we scroll through we have basically this nice effect looks really good it looks really good um, now to make it a little bit smoother just highlight all the keyframes click right click um, keyframe assistant easy ease and then turn off turn on the motion blur and click this to get motion blur but if you want more motion blur like so it looks sicker nicer you search real smart motion blur it's a great plugin if you don't have that just go and download that but yeah you just drag it to your layer and you see it effects 
directly looks real good but I always turn this up to about 0, 0,65 or something like that it gives a little more effect to it looks real nice it's, it's gonna ramp through that and yeah guys this with some uh, color correction on looks really 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 good um, it's a great transition and you guys like that so I will post more of these um, yeah guys so be sure to leave a like and a comment as usual it really mo motivates me to continue doing tutorials um, yeah so that's good okay so this is the effect um, yeah looks really really good actually if you think anything goes too fast or too slow you drag, drag these ends keyframes forward or back or yeah but it's a really cool effect I like it a lot so um, next tutorial is going to be like a twitch transition the guy asked for that so just say stay tuned for that um, see you in the next tutorial bye